welcome to another one of Q-Steps tutorial videos. Today we're going to be going over everything you need to know about cross tabs. So let's crack on. Here's what we want you all to be confident with by the end of the video. That cross tabs are used in bivariate analysis but for descriptives only. That we use percentage of column and not the percentage of row. That all variables used must be categorical and the cross tabs allow for the association between two variables. So let's find out what are cross tabs. These allow for the association between two categorical variables to be found. They are often found in table format where the DB is placed in row and the IB is placed in column. It's also important to look at the percentage of column rather than the percentage of row as we want to look at the percentage of the sample within the independent variable rather than the dependent variable. So here we can see an example of a cross tab. Circled in red is the independent variable with categories don't know, other and white. Circled in blue on the left is education which is our dependent variable and we have the categories below degree level, degree or equivalent, none and other qualifications. Here we have an example of a cross tab when using percentage of column. We can see this is using percentages of column by looking at the grand total at the end of each ethnicity column. Here we can see it equates to 100% and this is how we know we are looking at the percentage of the sample within the independent variable. Looking further into this cross tab, we can say that 41.48% out of 100% of white people in the sample have an education below degree level. And if we look to the left, we can say 46.45% of other ethnicities out of 100% have an education below degree level too. So from this, we can conclude that in this sample, more people who are classed as other ethnicities have a below degree level education. Here's another example of a cross tab, but here we're going to be using percentage of row. This is what we do not want to be looking at when performing our own statistical analysis. However, this is an example just to show what it looks like. So here we're using the same independent and dependent variable as before. However, we can see that there is a large difference in white and other ethnic people's education. Looking on the right, we can see 88.50% of white people and 11.38% of other ethnic people have an education below degree level. However, when looking at the grand total, we can see that this is the total of the dependent variable and not the independent variable. Therefore, this is not telling us the truth about which people actually have an education below degree level in the sample. Following on from our previous example, when looking at the percentage of row cross tab in more detail, we can conclude that there are far more white people in the sample to start with. For example, 89.65% of this sample are white compared to 10.30% of other ethnic people. Thus giving us the results outlined above that a greater amount of white people have an education below degree level. However, we know this isn't true. We can see this concept clearer when looking at the percentage of column table below, which tells us the percentage of the sample within the IV and giving us a more accurate finding. Thanks very much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it and by now you should be a master of all cross tabs. Created using Powtoon.